Good day. So welcome back to our lesson uh, in advanced Excel, our series of lectures. Um, this is lesson number 10. It's all about if statement. Um, so let me just start by the presentation on the slides that I have uploaded in Moodle. So if statement. So what's an if statement? Again, if statement is another term for conditions. OK, uh, it checks if the statement is correct and returns a value if it is true and another value if it is false. So if you have an if, that means you're asking a question, you're giving a condition. So is it true or false? Now, each uh, result or the value that the returned value uh, will need to do something. If it is true, it will need to do something. If it is false, it will need to do something. Uh, let's give an example. So what will happen if you're in, if you're in the house and your condition is if the door is open. So if the door is open, you can come in or you can come out. OK, if it is not open, so it is closed. Uh, it is uh, another way of show, uh, saying that the uh, the conditional statement or yes, your question's answer is false, then you cannot enter or you cannot uh, go out. OK, uh, so that's uh, that those are the true situations. If can be answerable by true or false. Condition can be answerable by true or false. Uh, now, as you can see here, this is how it should be written if there's no space here if open parenthesis logic test. So you're asking a question. OK, you're asking a question. So for example, is X equals to one? OK, or is X greater than or less than uh, greater than or equal to Y? So this kind of question, this is what our logic test is. Now, if that value is true, then you have to tell here what will it do if this is true? And then on the other hand, we have an optional here. It's an option if you want to do something if it is false. OK, so by default, if you will not write this and you will just end in the true value if true statement. OK, then nothing will be done if the logic test is false. OK, so this is where. Uh, what's the uh, what it's being stated here? OK, so let's proceed to the next slide. So we have logical operators here. Don't forget, I already uh, discussed this previously in our uh, video lesson for um, operators. Your logical operators is AND and OR. OK, so if you want to use this uh, uh, function, logical operator or a function, uh, again, you can use this AND and then you have arguments here. And then those arguments are if you have and that means you're joining this, but this is the truth table to that. As I said before, uh, the only time that your result will be true for in an and operated logics are when all the conditions are true, no matter how many this is. OK, for example, you have three logics that you want to join together. All must be or logic tests that you want to join. All must be true so that your result would be true. Otherwise, if there is one false there, then your result would be false. You can see a true, false, 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 true, false. So if you have three uh, conditions, false, true, true, there's only one false. Still, the result would be false. And most special of most most uh, important is that. If all the conditions are false, then of course the result is false. Now let's go to the next logic or operator, logical operator, the or, the or statement. So the or statement, if you combine them using an or operator, so the only time that it will become false is that if all the conditions are false, if one of the conditions is true, then your result will be true. Okay. And of course, most especially if all your conditions are true, then your result will be true. 
Okay, now later on we're gonna do nested ifs, one of the uh, example there. When you say nested ifs, you're uh, connecting one if to another if. Okay, so by experience, I think the maximum seven nested if. So I haven't uh, go more than uh, uh, seven, seven nested ifs. So what is this? So when you're testing one, okay, and then you have tested that it is true, okay, then you will have the action, what will be the action if that logic test is true. If not, you have another test. So you need to connect another if. What do you mean by this? If this is true, then you have to do this. But if not, you have to ask again another question. Like there are levels, okay, of questions, okay? It's not the same as and and or. And you're connecting them together. All the logic tests must be tested at once. But in nested ifs, you have to do leveling. First level, ask question. If it is true, okay, done. If it is not, you have to ask another question again. Okay, how do we say that? For example, you have two doors. Okay, so first question, uh, is it open? If it is open, you can enter. Okay, but there's another door. You have to ask that again. Is the second door open? So if it is open, then you can enter again. That's the one, uh, that's the practical use or analogy of using this uh, nested ifs. Okay, we're going to use that later on. Now let's see one example which is on our Excel file. Share and let's go here. Okay, so this is our example Excel file if statement students Example 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So as you can see here, this is the criteria. Okay, there are two criteria. If uh, the scores here are greater than or equal to 50, you will write pass. If not, because there are just two, that means value of true, value of false. Okay, so the, the question is just, you're just testing this. So one logic test, you're not testing so many values we are only testing one value here so if you're going to write here equal sign if you have to test c3 okay later on we're going to copy that so c3 will be uh, adjusted or relative addressed or re relative referencing now is it equal you're asking question greater than or equal to 50. So previously we used that operator. Okay, so if it is greater than or equal to 50, then you have to write pass in this cell. Okay, so this is the cell or the value in the cell that it will, that will be written. Okay, so the next is the value if it is not greater than or equal to 50. Is there another um, is there other values, okay, that this or this scores can be? So scores are only from 0 to 100. So you can see here it already are covered with this criteria, okay? So the number is greater than or equal to 50 or uh, less than 50. There is no other possible, okay? So if there is a possibility of other values, then you have to state that in the criteria or you have to assume, okay, values for that or what will happen if that's the case, okay? So I have to add here that if it is not greater than or equal to 50, then of course it's gonna be below 50. So I don't have to write this, okay? So it's just clearly stated here, if it is greater than or equal to 50, you have to write pass. Otherwise, it will fall. It will fall on this criterion. Okay, it will be failed. Press enter, and that's the result. Okay, copy and paste, going down, and this is or these are your results. Okay, 
So I'm going to stop with uh, sample number one. I'm going to continue with lesson number 10 and part two of this video. So again, see you.